The North Terrace Cultural Precinct preserves the artistic, scientific and cultural treasures of South Australia. But how do we take the vast array of data these institutions hold that we don't normally see and bring it to life? Our team's called Three's Not a Crowd, and our solution is the Full Deck, a simple but fun and creative way of turning a regular pack of cards into a gateway to Adelaide's cultural precinct in both the real and virtual worlds. Each of the four suits, as shown on the ACES, is represented by one of the cultural institutions from North Terrace, including the SA Museum, Art Gallery, History Trust of SA, and the State Library. The rest of the cards will show you different items in the digital collections of each institution. But this is more than just a pack of cards with nice pictures. Let's find out how by looking more closely at the Ten of Hearts. At first glance, this World War One black and white image simply shows a soldier with his horse. But by turning the card over and scanning the QR code, the background story of the soldier can be revealed in the Full Deck app, helping us dive into our archives of the State Library. Private Andrew Miller was born in Scotland in 1894 before migrating to Australia and signed up for the 3rd Light Horse Regiment in 1914. Private Miller served in Gallipoli, Egypt and France before being wounded in action in July 1917 and then returned to Australia in 1919. You might also like to visit the concrete trough of the Light Horse War Memorial next time you visit the eastern end of North Terrace. For another story, let's take a look at the two of clubs. This device is the very Stanhope Press that was brought ashore at Glenelg in 1836, placed in a tent and used to print the first 100 copies of the Proclamation of South Australia. The press is not currently on display, but is held and preserved by the History Trusts of SA, who share the story of the press in their digital archives. These two examples are just the tip of an iceberg for a world of fascinating South Australian history that just needs a small helping hand to be brought back to life. Fortunately, the public accessibility of the cultural institutions on North Terrace gives them an ideal way of promoting the full deck by selling packs of the cards in their gift shops or by integrating their use into visitor experiences. This could include the establishment of a trail for cultural explorers to gradually collect their own full deck as they visit various physical collections on display. Once out in the public sphere, the full deck playing cards will help ensure that both the digital and physical archive collections gain the level of future public exposure they deserve. But, before we go, are you wondering who the Joker is in this pack? Sir John Langdon Benython, proprietor of the Advertiser newspaper, donated a total of £50,000 during the 1930s Depression for a great hall to be built at the University of Adelaide. The only catch is that he insisted the hall be placed in the parklands at the end of Pogney Street, permanently ending proposals for a road that would have bisected the university campus, and at the same time, deviating from Colonel Light's original vision for this part of the city. So what are you waiting for? If you play your cards right, you'll find this fascinating history and more in the full deck.